Mic check. Yay, it's working. Hello, good afternoon, good day, everyone. It is I, the lovable Zarataro, here to bring you more delicious, fun, RPG, retro goodness with Tales of Fantasia. And man, am I feeling nice and toasty. I just took a bath. It was a very hot bath. It felt amazing. Nothing beats beating the cold weather. Oh, we're at the mansion. Okay. Nothing beats the cold weather like, uh... Like your brain just stopping on every word you want to say. <laughs> Alright, let's... Uh, okay, so we figured out that we need to... Save the tree, and then we're gonna go... Hi, Lindsay! Hot bath was very nice. It was very much needed to, for today. Yeah. It doesn't look like I've healed my TP from the last fight, so... Okay, what we'll probably need to do is we'll go back to Midgar, see if there's anything else we need to buy or get while we're there. Probably need to sell these. Uh, let's see, I probably have some rune bottles that I got in the dungeon. Let's go ahead and upgrade some items. Once I can find out where they are, here we go. Wait, no, that's prunes. Am I out of rune potions? We just organize everything alphabetically. There you are, rune bottles, okay. Right, let's see what we can upgrade. Savory. Yeah, we'll do that. Turns into red savory. Talisman. No. Resist ring. No. Black onyx. Tempting. Heavy boots. Sword. Sword. Orb. Oh, you do it on the emerald ring? Yo, it increases TB... Decreases TP consumption by half. Yo, that was a good upgrade. Hell yeah. Uh, charm bottle, lavender, lavender. And charm bottle. Okay. Let's try black onyx. Oh, wait, no, we're out. We're out of room bottles. Oh, well. We're going to Midgar. Go find Tifa. Says <laughs> We will find all of Avalanche and we will save them. Because they are all good boys and girls. Uh, let's see. Because if we're trying to go save the mana tree, we need people that are, like, smart about mana, I assume. And so we should probably go to, like, the mana research people. Wait, there's mana research people in here, isn't there? Doesn't every castle have, like, a mana research facility? I need to sell some crap. Actually, wait, before we do anything, equip. Arch. Now that we have that fairy ring. There we go. TP consumption by half. Actually, wait, no. As much as that's probably very good for her. I want to see something. Oh, wow, increase escape speed, of, escape speed by 50%. Okay, that's a little bananas. Okay. Give her the holy symbol. Let us give the fairy ring to Crest because he goes through MP a lot more. So all the names for placing the game seem ripped off from elsewhere. <laughs> I mean, kinda, yeah. That sounds pretty on point for. Old school RPGs, unfortunately. Okay, now let's sell some shit. Sell. What are you? Mechanical Halberd? We're going to sell two of those. Two talismans. Sell all this yeah, ca capitular fungus. Two 
two of the warrior symbols, one black onyx. Okay, now let's go to the tool shop and see if we can afford the uh, the item that gives you half cast time. Because if we can give that to Arch, that would definitely, like, make her, like, the most OP of OP. I just gotta remember where it is. This. <laughs> yep, okay, tool shop. Okay. Let's see if they even have it. Okay, they do. Alright. 674 divided by 2. What's that? Six seven four oh 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 divided by two three thirty seven. Okay, we'd still be a bit short. So we need to sell some more stuff. Let's see, no elixir, we're good there. So one poison charm. Okay. I think we should be good. Okay. Alright. Let's use... Where is it? Okay, here we go. Miracle charm. Okay. Bye. Mystic symbol. Reduces casting time by 50%. It, e it ate up all of our money. But I feel like it was a good investment. I was I can remember where it was put. Here we go. Yeah. Alright. Sorry to waste the start of the stream on that, but I felt I felt it was important that we take care of that. All right, here we are. Good old castle. Castle time. Nope, that's the prison. I guess we should talk to the king. Like, inform him about everything that happened. That sounds like something that people should do. What's up, king and queen? Oh, nothing? No extra thing to add? Okay, well, that's fine. That's fine. Let's see. Magic people down here. There we go. You're not important. Yggdrasil. I've never heard of it. Can you fill me in? You tell them about it. Really? There's truly a forest out there with something like that? Fascinating. Do you have any clue about the location of spirits? Nah, we already did all the spirits. You? You know anything? Do you know anything? You know anything? What about you? Ah, sadless. I've already, I already got all those spirits and spells. All right, I guess this place really is just useless right now. All right, well then, back to Midgard it is. <laughs> I just don't kind of put together, like, Midgard, Castle next to the Valhalla Plains. And then we ran into the freaking Valkyrie and Odin and all that stuff. Yo, that's way faster.
All right, we need to get a boat. Also, so we don't have to worry about encounters, we'll use a holy post holy bottle. That should help some. It helped enough. Yes. <laughs> yeah, maybe that item is not too good. What's up, Chief? Oh, wait, actually, I think I'm glad I did those few fights because otherwise I don't think I would have had the money to take the boat. <laughs> that would have been bad. I don't even think I've got enough money for an end stay right now, technically. Probably shouldn't be t too picky about encounters at the moment. Oh, hey, this thing. Been a while since we fought one of these. The Halcyon days where I had to farm them for an item that it didn't drop 100% of the time. Uh, it feels like only yesterday. Oh, wait, no, I got about, like, 600 uh, gold from that fight, so that's that's pretty good for, like, an end stay, I want to say. I didn't check to see if I even got a Basilisk scale. <laughs> we have done pretty good as far as, like, progress in this game goes so far, I think. Unless we figure out the whole, like, Yggdrasil thing, then... I want to say we should be done with the past. At least that's what the game seems to imply. I wonder if we're ever seeing our good old boy Chester again. Who would I get rid of in the party? Honestly, probably meant. Like, she doesn't seem to really help with fights all that much. At least not, like, compared to, uh, like, Clarith and Arsh. Yeah, I mean, it does seem. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> Poor her. Well, if, if they gave her like any kind of attack spell, like it'd be great. But like, the the fights don't last long enough for like sharpness and deep mist to really count. And the pico pico hammer is nice. It'll probably still be good against bosses and such. Like, I'd probably still bring her in for boss fights. But and besides that, nah. I don't know if they were really planning on us, like, making her, like, the top waifu, but I just don't really feel like it worked out that way. Alright, let's see what we got around here. Yep, this is the orphanage.
Here we go, the end. Alright. Oh, this feels different. Oh, a cutscene. Mommy? Yes, darling. Those things in your ears, they're so pretty. Oh, my earrings? Yes. Can I have them? Do it! Oh, I'm sorry, honey. I can't give them to you. Why? They're precious, precious keepsakes given to me by my mommy's mommy. They represent my status as a cleric. So that means they're real important? Man, I haven't heard you talking shit, so she has to show her tragic backstory. Damn it! How come they're shaped like horsies? They're unicorns, dear. Unicorn symbolizes the order of the clerics. Instead of my earrings, you can have my cap. <laughs> it looks good and you'll grow into it. Proof that you'll become a wonderful cleric. Oh. Well, I'm sorry, Mint, but our mom died too. So I don't know what to tell you. Yeah, slept like a log. Good morning, Mint. You're up bright and early. Is something the matter? Morning. What's with the silent treatment? Everyone, please listen. I have something important to say. I've been thinking about a means to of revitalizing your soul. Oh, good. She comes up with it. Perhaps my clerical arts might be one way, but I'm simply not powerful enough to handle it alone. Maybe if we borrowed the power of the unicorn. The unicorn is the embodiment of my order's power. I believe it exists somewhere in this world. So we meet this unicorn of yours who just gleefully hand over whatever it is we need and let us go on our merry way? Hell yeah! We're protagonists. Everything should be handed to us. What do we about? Clerk Arts are probably our only hope of pulling this off. So let's try it. <laughs> let's go look for a fucking unicorn. Arch, wake the fuck up. You're all up. The sun's not even up yet. <laughs> Time to go find us a unicorn. Oh, good. I didn't even have to spend money on that. I guess let's go ask, um, what's his face if he knows anything about it? Henceforth, you should be known as the heroes of legend to this nation. Hey, did you hear that? Heroes of legend. Huh? Pretty cool. That should no way backfire on us at all. Why a unicorn? We just had a Pegasus. Does the, 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 like the creator of this game really like horses? Do none of y'all know nothing about? Yo, do you know about unicorns? Man, all y'all are bitches. Hmm. Well, I guess I'll look for the food stand. Lying is the first step to thievery. Still locked. Hello, random person. Oh, wait. They say there's a white horse that will only appear before maidens who are pure in mind and body. 
Do we get what? Where? I'm up here, maiden. Man, no one believes we're heroes. Those jerks. Hello, I need more need more fruits. Boy picked, okay. Okay. We went to this forest earlier and it didn't like have a purpose, so I guess we had like wait for like the uh the thingy. Is Mint okay? Seems to me that she's pretty deep in thought. But if she's worried about how the unicorn only meets women and pure maidens and all that. For Messenger of the Gods, this horse is certainly a bit on the cheeky side. <laughs> Please call the unicorn is not a horse. So it's a pointy spirit horse. Anyway, the forest seems peaceful. How about you and Arch go together? I don't know. <laughs> Arch is not pure of mind. Damn. That not only did like Mint's like, no, I'm gonna stay in the party. In fact, I'm gonna take the only other like strong character, and we're just gonna bounce. Hey, why don't we split up here? I'll go look somewhere else. You keep going on ahead. What's the matter? Oh. Wait, is this it? I just followed, like, the left the left road. Like, the left wall. <laughs> oh my god, this unicorn looks so sad. Why are you so sad, unicorn? Oh, he looks hungry. Someone feed this poor thing. I'm so glad that you can speak the human language. I'm sorry to bother you, but will you please listen to my story. It involves the future of all living things in the world. It looks like it's in a pool of its own tears. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> I apologize for introducing myself. I'm Claire, called Mint Adnaid. Up until now... And then she painfully describes in intricate detail the entire game. Seems like they're not going to be back for a while. When they do, why don't we leave them here and go for our own stroll through the place? Then we'll be even, Steven. <laughs> Sounds like an idea. By the way, what do you think of it, Chris? Are you asking? Good lord, never mind. What was that about? A sinister presence has entered the forest. And that's the end of my story. <laughs> Girl, you say you from the future? Nay, you crazy. I beg of you, please believe me. 
Oh shit. Oh crap, it's Hellmasters. Hug the left wall. No, the unicorn! It was the last unicorn. I remember I saw that movie. It was a long time ago, though. Oh, uh, this is gonna suck. Clarth, hold him off. I'll get there in a second. <laughs> it's How did it go from the girls leaving the party to, like, the boys having to do this boss fight on their own? No, no casting. And even going through like half my TP with each like skill, I feel like I'm like burning through it. I was kind of hoping like the unicorn would like test the girls. It's like, all right, but if you can beat me in battle. Ooh, we got three room bottles. Fuck yeah. I forgot to buy more because I was broke. Man, so you're right. I'm okay, but the unicorn. <gasps> no! <gasps> unicorn Chan! You guys are right. What the heck went down here? Steady now. Heal it! Heal it! I trust in your story just as I trust in you. <gasps> your heart is pure and unclouded, young lady. Do not weep for I must alter my form to aid you. Oh, shit. Acquire the unicorn horn. Well, damn. Oh um, man, it's now a pure maiden. If the unicorn truly embodies clerical arts, then this horn will make reviving Idrisilla snap. But before we go, explain yourself, Arsh. Where in the world were you? It was in grave danger. Uh, I was. See, after hearing all those rumors about the unicorn, I like figured there's no way it would approach us with me around. I had a boyfriend way back, you know, and uh. You know, I mean, are, are you still a pure maiden if it, if it's just up the butt? Look, the important thing is we hurry to the force of spirits. I'll even let you use the quick jump again if you'll forgive me. <laughs> Super heal! Did it work? Holy shit! Live her best life. <laughs> or just like, I don't like living to the standards of society, the places on women, alright?
Oh man, this feels like a scene from like Legend of Lagaya. <laughs> We're clearing the mist. Jesus, the spell's kind of overkill. Everyone okay? Hey, Sentai! I hope you are doing well today. Happy afternoon and Monday. Oh, uh, work? Okay, well, I hope work goes well for you. I appreciate you stopping in to say hi. For those watching, Sentai is also a VTuber that does robot and, uh, like, action streams. So you should go give them a follow and check out if you have a spare moment. Because not too many people do games like those. Hey, Martel, it's the, the tree girl. Is this the result of your sacred power? I didn't do it alone. If it wasn't for the unicorn and everyone's wishes, I would have failed. Hey, don't think like that. It is good for you. Take some credit for once. Only you could have done this. Thank you so much for what you've done. Not only have you extended life for the tree, but it seems I too shall live a little longer. However, the unnatural depletion of mana continues. If I had to submit a theory at this point, I'd say magic technology usage is likely the culprit. Duh! If those studying it are still trying to greatly expand its use, then that just might be enough to cause this. So we have to go further back in time and kill the person that started magic technology. That's all. Oh, she left us. I was hoping we could have chatted. Well, she is a spirit, after all. Difficult for them to manifest physically in the first place. Sadly, we still don't have a shred of divisive evidence. Is what's causing them in a crisis. I was wondering, Deus focused his attacks on Midgard, didn't he? What were chances he was doing that simply to eradicate their magic technology? If so, could he have wanted to use the power of mana all for himself? Maybe he's just afraid of magic technology. I mean, that cannon was totally freaky stuff. Plus, all we've ever heard is that magic is his only weakness. Too much we don't know. Speculating further is pointless. We just had to wait until we finally learned Deus' motive. Let's move on to Thor. Expect we're heading to our final battle. Finish any business. Luckily, I've pretty much finished everything. I've got all the, all the spells for Arch. Uh, we did Yggdrasil. We've got a good bit of equipment and money. I have tied up the past very neatly with a bow. No, it's just a python! Overkill! Bye. So much explosion. Alright, now how do we get to Thor, though? Oh, hey, it's the village of Belladim. Hey, old man. Are you still alive? Congratulations. Day is gone. You're still revived. You don't have any reason to be in this time period anymore. Oh, he actually gave us a, f a farewell. I like that. I like that when you're actually like done with a section. The characters are like, okay, bye. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess let's go grab a boat. What is it? Uh, Venice has all the boats for us. So. I'd say the captain there should be able to take us to at least one of the places we need to get to. I wonder if we can get like an airship when we get to Thor. <laughs> Every little creature in this forest will be incinerated. We're sorry, but not sorry.
I've got so many magic lenses and I've never used them. I just don't feel like they, that uh, this game you really need to know like what like an enemy's uh, like elemental weakness is. Doesn't feel like it's very important. Oh yeah, this town got fucked up. And let's go ahead and do a quick save so we don't have to do that whole unicorn thing again. Seventeen hours, huh? Okay. I imagine we gotta be past the halfway point at this at this time. I was gonna say RPGs didn't hit like the sixty hour mark until Oh wait, the PS1. Damn it! No wait, no, this was a, originally a Super Nintendo game. We should be fine. Yes. <laughs> oh, let's go check on the lovebirds. Hey, y'all have been a big help. You only chose his path. It's no longer my business. Our wedding ceremony is about to start. You'll be there, I hope. Sure. <gasps> oh, this is a cute little cutscene. Oh, I could have totally skipped this. You take Nancy to be your beloved wife. I do. Oh. Oh, they're so lucky. Two of us will take care of you, Dad. Aww. <laughs> they look so happy. We owe you two big time. Went for your encouragement. We wouldn't be here today. Oh, we got a pair of bridal gloves. Wow, that was actually a nice little happy ending for those two. I was super worried one of them was going to die tragically. Hey, mate, you saw her dress, didn't you? Didn't you? I want to wear one just like it one day. I've so got to get married. Like yesterday. Hey, Chris, why don't you marry me, big boy? Oh, don't be shy. Yeah, let's get married, Arch. Wait a second. If I say that, things will get awkward fast. Uh, lighten up. It was a joke. All right, there are two boats, if I remember. One's up here and one's on the other side. So we'll check with this guy first. How's you guys getting? You want to go somewhere? Oh, well, here we go. See you above Thor. Let's do this. Uh, I guess I probably could have said goodbye to uh, Clark's almost wife and Arch's dad, but oh well. Hopefully they'll see them again one day. You gotta be kidding. Are you guys committing suicide? No, we're just going for a little trip under the sea. Come forth, Maiden of the Mist. What do you require of me, my master? Spirit of the water, please guide us to the ancient city of Thor. This bubble shall provide you with safe passage to the sunken metropolis. Oh, that was cool. They sure were a strange bunch. All right, raise anchor. We're getting the fuck out of here. But Captain, they paid for a return trip too. Aye. 
Pull anchor. We're getting out of here. Wow, have we truly reached the bottom of the sea? Well, the sea's above us, not below us. Don't go wandering off. But come on, I want to explore. Let's see, it seems the city is surrounded by walls sturdy enough to withstand the water pressure. Could there really be a time-traveling device here? Finest meters of the world have been right about that much. Why not start down them now? Oh, it's rusted shut. Boo! You should have just broken the, do the door down, Cress. Just been like, pacha! Oh, hey, look, a card. What's with this weird pattern on the back? Do the ancients play card games? Wait, is it like a key card? Is this a bank? Ooh, save point. We will save in a separate file, just in case. Backup save, backup save. Oh, there we go. ID card authenticated. Security system disengaged. Oh, my robot voice scared them. Oh, hello. Ha! They aren't gins, they're jans. I don't know why that's silly. <laughs> Whether they're Jen or Jan, they're just bitches. I don't get that much money for them, though. I really do think I'm a bit too strong for this area. Or I guess it's part of the game. Oh, good, I got a key. A key for the common folk, am I right? Oh, damn, they're all empty. <laughs> that sucks. Oh, look at these mer people. They're just like fish with legs. <laughs> oh man, that looks so stupid. What jerk put all those empty chests there? <laughs> He's like, I was going to store stuff, but, you know, I just got kind of got lazy after I put the key in the first one. <laughs> They're mer people. Are they, like, male part top, fish part bottom, or, like, backwards? It's like, no, no, no. They're just quite literally just fish with legs. They, they can't really support themselves, like, standing up either. <laughs> it's It's kind of ridiculous. Huh. All right, let's go, Jan. Get wrecked. At least you can see those enemies, though, when you go to encounter them. Oh, won't fit. Woo! 
Wait. Huh, this is weird. Okay, so note to self. Once once I leave, I can't go back, and then I have to go get the key. And then I have to go find the door again, I guess? That's dumb. I mean, it's not like the, like the fight's hard or anything, but it's like... It's just excessive, I guess? Although I guess most regular players wouldn't have, like, you know, immediate doubts and want to go back, like, right away. But I'm not regular gamers. I'm a hamster. At least we can save time just by grabbing the key. Oh, it's empty. Ah, seriously? Okay. So the key's not even in the same place each time. That's interesting. See, the jams only give me a hundred gold, but that sword gave me like a thousand gold. Oh, Jesus. Okay, this wasn't the room we, we were in before. Okay, I guess I don't understand this dungeon at all, actually. <laughs> intruder, eliminate intruders. They launch missiles. Dang, she just did back to back Ray. No, leave him alone. Not sure Maxwell is the best choice for this right now, but. Okay.
Oh no, the 2SH did reflect. It was not very effective. Man, just the amount of damage the magic people do in comparison to, like, Cress. My magic is busted in this game. Let's think my Bob's dropped something. Hey, it's a pact ring. Oh shit, we got a pact ring out of that. Fuck yeah. What the heck is this? Some sort of special equipment. Main system activated. Bio ROM check. <gasps> uh oh, ROMs. Nintendo's gonna come after us. What is this? Welcome to Mother Computer Room. I am Mother Computer Room Oz. <laughs> oh Jesus. I support all Thor City functions. Please select your intended operation. Uh, time warp. And do we have an energy check? Insufficient energy. City functions must be restored. However, Mayor of Thor must authorize. Death of Mayor confirmed. <laughs> Since situation decision. Your group is accepted as acting mayor. <laughs> You're authorized to restore city functions. Not completely sure, but it seems we need to restore the city's function to enable time traveling. Yes. Alert citizens of Thor. I hope this doesn't cause a big tidal wave that kills all the cities we just visited. Because that would be very awkward. Ah, crap. Looks like that's exactly what it's doing. Oh, goodbye, everybody. Sorry, Venice. Oh, good. The shaking stopped. They had the capacity to elevate the entire continent. Time warp. The deepest level of the Maus of the mausoleum, May twenty first, one hundred two years from now. Uh, we're just going straight to the present. Baby universe verified. <laughs> Damn universe. Yeah, time travel. Woo. Let's go save Chester from getting obliterated. That was the light of time travel. Answer me. Where did you send them? I think I'd tell you. I know not what era you have conveyed them, but as you are unable to take yourself along, I know your level of ineptitude. Come on, I'll run this place where the rest of the corpse is. What's up, bitch? You fools have returned? Oh, Cress. Neither the world nor my friends are yours to toy with. Do I presume to understand me? I have been entrusted with a duty whose supports you cannot fathom. I shall see that it's accomplished. My destiny is too great to allow my defeat in such a rancid hole as this. Oh, shit. All right. Round two, baby. Let's go. Yeah. Meant to do... Now, Hammer. 
Clarith, do... Increase Chris's attack. Like, we're already back for a rematch, like, right away. No, nope, guys, stay. We haven't saved in a while, so please do this right now. Oh, no, I guess we did save fairly recently. Oh, that was close. <laughs> I was going to say, if I didn't make Clarth use that potion, like, it would have sucked. Yeah, shoulder lock. Let's keep them combos going. Oh, fuck. Use orange gel on Arch. Oh no, meant to stand. <laughs> Luckily, like, item usage is pretty instant in this game. This guy's got some life, though. I feel like he's even got more life than last time we fought him. Even though, technically, he really shouldn't if he just came from the past and just woke up and all that stuff. Oh, crap! Guys, what about stay didn't y'all, like, understand? Give a orange gel to Clarth. Ah! 
All right, he kind of got the upper hand on us again, but we just got to keep this corner lock back on track. There we go. Booyah! Big Bad Deus is butt kicked. We got him. We avenged our parents. Oh, shit. Everyone, run the fuck away. Oh, whoa, he got crushed. And Ormaz's energy was probably unleashed when Diaz was resurrected. Oh man, if we if we didn't come here, then yeah, either way, Morrison and uh, Chester would have just died, just because this place would have exploded. Hey, Arch, I don't suppose you want to like teleport us by any chance? Yo, this place is getting wrecked. Run, old man! Morrison, what's all this infernal shaking about? That's Tristan. Get the fuck out now! Someone pick up that old man! Damn! That cave got wrecked. Oh, I guess we killed the titular bad guy. <laughs> so the bad guy drowned in lava. <laughs> the end. Well, shit. Mint still hasn't learned the truth about you. But you should know that she continues to fight on with all of her heart. <laughs> Man, why did we th didn't think about just throwing the bad guy in lava to begin with? You know this tree that shades your grave? Take a look at it. It's the world tree. Cress, she can't look at it. She's dead. <laughs> your daughter's steadfast devotion to saving is why it stands so majestically. Knowing that, I hope you rest peacefully in this place. Chris, you should really tell Mint that her mom's dead. All right, Arch and Clarth are from the past, so oh. Oh, see, she heard anyway. You just should have been honest and told her. The day for Clarth the summoner. And Arch the Mage had arrived. Yeah, these two comrades of both joy and sorrow had to part ways. No! They're so strong! Come back, my magic users! I love you so! I guess this is farewell then. No! Bike cues are so hard! We'll be leaving for Thor soon. Oh, I don't want to forget you guys. So for by my heart, I totally won't. Never, never, ever. Oh, Mint's crying. Our meeting should have been impossible to begin with. Yeah, but if we but if we didn't meet, then you wouldn't have got your super special awesome spirits. And Arch would have probably still been possessed by that of her best friend. That's kind of a lot to think about for a second. <laughs> Clarth, Arch, take care. You two are rad.
I hope your board game goes well. I hope the tutorial was enough that you could like play it well. Good luck, Lindsay. Oh wait, shit! Everything's going to it's going to hell. Note note to you, Lindsay. Timestamp. Uh, I don't I don't know what time we're at. <laughs> oh, we're at an hour and ten minutes. So <laughs> it's. Oh shit! It's a meteorite. It's multiple meteorites. Damn, get fucked, planet. What in the world was that? No, it seems to trip what well. Sure, the grand residence of Trinicus D. Morrison. That was a lot of time travel. Just who are you? From whence and when did you come? My name is Harrison. I come from 50 years into the future at the behest of King Alvinista. Hold on. Future, you say? A being called Deus emerged in our world several years ago. Because of him, the world is on the brink of destruction. We have no means of fighting back as a last ditch effort. Wait, you mean Deus was behind the meteorites that just bombarded the area? As I thought he's begun to attack you. Probably out of fear that we tried to retrieve you from the past. I guess be I thought we killed him. Shows what we know. Looks as if our goodbye was a bit premature. Alright, everyone, let's go to the fucking future. I do not think I'm the one who would be encumbrance this time around. I'll stay behind and wait your return. If you make it back, I'll tell you some old stories about your parents. Chester, you're coming with us. Hell yeah! I missed out on the whole first half of the game. Oh, I don't know. You look kind of wussy. <laughs> well, you were like half dead back there, you know. If you were more manly. Arch, be nice. This is going to take mint spot in battles. I guess you can try to keep up with us, boy. Do not slack off. <laughs> So this is the time travel thing you're talking about, eh? Oh, how interesting. Welcome to Mother Computer Room. I am Mother Computer Room Oz. Select like your intended operation. Start time travel process. Destination is about 50 years in the future. Place is the village of Totus. Damn, we just spend like any time in the present. It's like, fuck that. It's all about the past and the future, baby. All green. Time warp. Let's do the time warp again. Oh, things look fine. Oh, is this what's become a Totus in the future? This is the town of Miguel. I guess it was named after Dad. For whatever reason, Dad says, refrain from attacking South Euclid in this area. As long as we stay around here, we'll be in no danger. On the mind, how is Venezia doing? It's fine anyway. Our first objective is to sail to Alvinista. Second, we must have an audience with His Majesty. Speaking of Venezia, I shall take my leave of you, make arrangements at the port. Finally, take this map of the world. It's up to date with information of this era. We got a map of the future. Alright, we're five strong now.
But you can only have four in a party. They still earn experience points, but they won't get any bonuses awarded by accessories. Okay, well. Formation. Chester, you're only level 11? Damn, bro. We need to get you hooked up. Optimum. No, wait. Uh, I really just don't have anything for him. <laughs> uh, shit, let's see. Is there anything that can give him experience? I guess that to help him have HP for a while. He's in a holy symbol. Damn. Yeah, no, we should definitely level him up first. Welcome to the Benjamin. What can I buy? Okay, so it's got tools. Flare bottle, liquor bottle. Buy some more holy bottles. Okay. It hey, wasn't this thing at the end back in Totus? Sure looks like it. There's an N. Doesn't look like anything too fancy around here. Greetings, travelers. May you be blessed with the divine protection of the goddess. Here we go. Equipment. Oh, dang. I can buy. Well, I can't buy it at the moment, but. 34,000. That's not bad, actually. Striped ribbon, gauntlets. Go ahead and change up people's gear for a bit. It's been a while. Oh, she does the unicorn horn as a weapon. Shit. Sell, sell, sell. That'll have to do for now. We'll have to come back when we get more money. Where is the grocery store? Oh, hello. Come to World Fabulous Flavor. Yes, new recipe. Potato stew. Yo, potato stew sounds boss. Oh, hey, this is a sword school. Oh, Miguel Fencing School. Would you like to enroll? Introductory mission. Did I build this when I return home? <laughs> Out. My, my, you look like a skilled one. Why not train yourself further here? We got some sick deals on membership. Looking for an arcane book? 20,000. Ah, oh, damn it. Yes. Phoenix Dance.
Phoenix Dance, Demonic Sword Rain. Okay, I think that's better. Phoenix and uh, Sword Rain didn't really go well together. What is it? Center? Beast? Void Tempest? Huh, well I guess let's try to start learning Beast. I didn't even know I had that skill. What about you? Alright. You still need levels. <laughs> oh, y'all yeah, two look cute. Probably because of that damn combat tournament. Oh, there's a tournament. You don't say. Hey, this is Chester's old house. Oh, my back. Oh, swordsman, huh? Something in the cabinet you might like. Oh, damn. We got another book. Is that demonic tiger blade? We'll keep that one in mind. We want to level up beast first, so. Okay. That's about everything we had in this town. It should be mana tree, right? This way? Force of Spirits. Yeah! Let's go see how she's doing after 50 years. Ooh, everything looks stronger. Get wrecked, Owl. <laughs> Dang, that was barely any experience. What's Chester supposed to do? Just always stay behind? Yeah, no, that, that new Phoenix attack is way better. <laughs> yeah. I almost feel like, do I actually need, like, the other people in my party? Yeah, no, I can't, uh, I can't have less people in my party, so you just gonna have to tough it out. Oh no, I want to talk to the tree. Well, poop. <laughs> Jesus. There we go. Hopefully he has, like, less experience re required to level up. Oh, weather gravestone here. Sign reads the Tree of Spirits. Bum, 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 bum.
Yeah, I'm still down with her nuking everything. Okay, so we're in the future. Doesn't look like too much has changed. Let's take a look at the map anyway. World map, okay. Alright, Miguel. Euclid's up there. Venezia's up there still. Olive Village is still there. Freeze... Freeze Keel, that's somewhere new. Early Twilight Town, Elven Settlement. Okay. So Midgard is no longer there. Hmm. Something happened in 50 years? Or the present? Or. <laughs> Let's go check out the place where Deus died. And also some other places we gotta check out, like the Gnome Cave, and that the mine where we got the Wind Spirit. We'll just spend the rest of the stream checking out places we've already been to. And we might as well, I mean, if the next place to go is Alvinista, uh, we have to go all the way up to Venice. That's all the way to the top, anyway, of this continent. So, might as well start at the bottom and work our way up. There is no guarantee, I believe, that I'll get anything that like flies in this game, so... Hey, the dog's all grown up. It should be dead. Must be a new dog. Hello, Marcus. I'm a peddler. What are you peddling? Nothing worthwhile. I'll take a room bottle. Grandpa was an amazing cleric, and his grandpa's grandpa was hero who defeated the Demon Lord. Well, I'm in charge of the housekeeping. Traveling artist, my name is Kiri. I'm an artist whose inspiration comes from the beautiful curves of a woman's body. What kind of painting would set the world on fire? I don't know. Oh, hey. You are a cook. Teach me a recipe. Pescatore. Nice. I'll take it. Toilet? Nope. Who are you people? I'm very busy. I don't have time for you right now. Is your name Mr. Morrison? Harold D. Morrison, to be exact, but... Are you Mr. Cress Alvain, whom my grandfather spoke of? See, so you've taken the time to come visit me. Naturally, I'd like to provide assistance, but I like the power to fight Deus. It goes without saying, but my grandfather was Trinicus D. Morrison. And his ancestor was Edward. Two of them command incredible powers. However, I was not fortunate enough to inherit them. Oh. Sentiments are more than enough. Speaking of your grandpa, did he ever tell you stories about what we ended up doing? Are you certain there's something you wish to hear about? Nah. You gotta be kidding. That's something we need to hear. She said it'll need to. Just shut up already. Let's not embarrass ourselves in front of Mr. Morrison with a childish fight. Probably for the best we drop the subject. There are many things in the world that people are better off not knowing. I mean, man, if, you, if you heard and changed something along the way, that would screw things up. A person's fate is already 99% decided when they're born, but the rate rate the remaining 1% can be changed through hard work and effort. My grandfather did not tell me even one word of your exploits. He could have kept it a secret for any number of reasons, but I believe it's because he didn't wish to take away that 1% of free will. Oh, We only get 1%. What a drag. Hmm. 
afraid there really isn't much I can offer you, but feel free to make ourselves at home. Oh. He's a good kid. And we can use the TP heal. Oh, we should save. I feel like it's been a while since we've done that. At least we get a free room and board out of this. I was expecting Thor to be from the future, like the city. And so I was expecting this place to be a lot more like futuristic looking. Is there like a future future after this? Hmm. I'm not expecting anyone, so I'm not going to answer it. Actually, I should check my phone to make sure no one's trying to actually see me. Yeah, no, it doesn't look like it's anyone here for me. We'll see if they ring the doorbell again. Okay, I'm gonna have to get that. Hold on one moment. Hello, Toaster! Sorry, uh, there was someone at the door. They were looking for my dad, actually. Apparently, like, an old co-worker of his came back into town. Uh, but, but my dad and I don't, like, live together anymore, so my dad lives with his girlfriend. But he was a very pleasant person. It's just weird. People don't normally, like, ring the doorbell here multiple times unless they're trying to, like, sell something. So... So I usually avoid all that nonsense. Huh, why can't I open this door? Door to door sales. Oh shit, that's a person. Have you forgotten the way of the shinobi? Return with me to the ninja village. <gasps> there are ninjas in the future! If you come at once, I shall see the chief forgives you. Silence! Do not comprehend the supremacy of Lord Deus. Oh, right! Actually, the ninjas were in the past. The ninjas worked for Deus. You're being deceived. If you stand in the way, we shall grant you the most ignoble death. You leave me no choice. I shall perform my duty in accordance with the way of the shinobi. Prepare yourselves. <gasps> she did the anime slash! Damn, she killed them. Cool. What's up, girl? Who are... She took off. Oh, no. She's in trouble. I think. What happened? Poor thing. She's being hurt. You smell something burning? The, in the involuntary fidgeting looks even worse than a seizure. She'll fill it out in the morning. Oh. 
<laughs> and that looked fun. High voltage tends to do that to a person, huh? Very sorry, what are you doing all the way out here? With a powerful spirit around, this is exactly an ideal place for a young child to get lost. Check our clothes. Don't you see that style every day, huh? Wait, no, come back! Oh, these guys look cool. Oh, you missed it, Toaster. We're actually in the future now. Uh, we found the time machine to bring us back to the present. But then, uh, so we killed Deus in the, in the present. But then, uh, someone from the future came and said, Deus is trying to, like, throw meteors at you from the future to the present. So now we teleported to the future, 50 years in the future, to fight Deus. So uh, we'll see how that goes. Oh, this is like an electric door. So I need to harness the power of electricity somehow. This might be a bit too early for this place. Okay, now we're getting some experience. Hmm. No, that doesn't seem to be it either. Oh, wait, there's a sign here. We could probably read the sign. Hey, poison frogs. Boo! Ba ba ba! We still don't really know why, like, Crest looks like Deus, though. But we were able to get Chester back in the party, at least. Even though he joined back at level 11. Which is where I guess we left him at. <laughs> Oops. Alright, wind does nothing, this earth is creation, water is power, destruction, fire is power. Well, yeah, I mean, we have all those. Hmm. Okay, it must be too early for us to come here. Alright, we'll do a bit more exploring of the future. Oh, look, puppers! I definitely know what I'm going to do for lunch, though, after this. I'm going to grill up some chicken. Or bake some chicken, most likely. And then make some ramen. Cut the chicken, put it in there. It's going to be great. I am very excited. Ramen with actual meat is very good. Ooh, we can go up the, this cliff again. Maybe it's got like some new treasures. God, her magic is just way too strong. <laughs> Good. Chester's like, I'm just glad to feel included, finally. Okay, 
Here's poison and paralysis. Moderate amount of HP. Predator! Do, 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 do. Hey, that bird got knocked the fuck out. It's like I could just stand there and like her attack will just like clear them out. Still not getting much for XP though. Oh, there's still only one of those left. Chester, why didn't you pick up on that? Should have hawk item, bro. Here we go. That's what I wanted. Oh. One of the like defense of your shield determines that like beast smash attack. It's probably just your regular attack stat, but it's cool that it's just basically just like knock them with a the shield and keep going. Oh, we got a rebirth doll. Well, that's nice. That thing's super amazing, but you know, it's just a good item to have. Okay. Castle place. This was the castle place that locked us up last time. I wonder if they're still super evil. Clarth, why do you look like you've just been knocked on your ass? Oh, good. Chester's actually learning skills now. Good, 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 good. Hello, town that was evil and was responsible for the death of our parents. Human Research Center. That doesn't sound good. I don't know where your husband's at. I don't even know who your husband is. Toilet! It's good to know they at least have plumbing. Oh, you're hiding. I hate from a shrewd wife. She never stops her yapping. <laughs> Jesus. It's not a healthy relationship, bro. Don't know what to tell ya. Oh. Poor Chester. Can we talk for a few minutes? Grass. Is it what <laughs> is it what Art said that's bothering you? That's only part of it. Truth is more about you. 
It used to be that you and I stayed neck and neck in our training. Our only difference was our weapon of choice. Good times. But it what seemed like only a few minutes, you got insanely strong. You're suddenly so far ahead. I feel just sort of left out. Aww. Say, do you have dreams about everyone at Totus? Yeah. A single night goes by without me having one. I'm suddenly woken by the intense thought of everyone being massacred. I'm so furious. I can't go back to sleep. I have to go out and shoot arrows. It helps me cool a little. One last thing. Did you know my little sister Amy? She really liked you. Aww. Chester has gained additional experience from his training. Oh, good. He leveled up. How much did he level up? That's the question. Twenty-two. Okay, wow. No, he gained like ten levels. That's pretty good. All your hard work is paying off. Oh no, Venezia's been having hard times. The port. But it's nothing but ports. Ah! <laughs> you, what the hell are you doing, babe? Don't have eyes to the back of my head. Oh, dude. He tried. Hi, pansexual! Good afternoon. I hope you're doing well today. A good old ham hi to you. We are just missing around right now in Tales of Fantasia. We made it to the future. And now we're just kind of like exploring little things here and there. We're having global shipping delays. Ah! It hurts, Toaster. It hurts. I just got off work. Congrats. I hope work went well for you. I know the start of the week is sometimes like a very like bad day. <laughs> of course, it's also the chance that it's not even like your uh, your Monday. You could have like one of those like offset weeks. Lemons. It was work. It is indeed work. Sometimes that's that's enough. It's like yeah, it's not good, not bad, but it was just it was just what it is, and that's okay. I am trying to figure out weapon shop. Here it is. More weapons. Oh, it's called the Holy Knight. That's hilarious. <laughs> what we need? We need thirty-four thousand. I only got twenty thousand. And yeah, nothing I can really sell, I bet. I already sold everything. I spent so much money on accessories. Oh, wow, shield ring. A mysterious ring that produces translucent magical shield when worn. When did I get that? I don't recall picking that up at all. I guess let's try giving it an equip. Can I even equip it? It doesn't look like I can. Huh. General store, potions. Nope. Nothing really here. Okay, board now. Let's go to the next place. Uh, let's see. Oh, that should be the, uh, the place where we got, uh, Sylph. The mines. Hello? This one down old shack looks like it's been abandoned longer than I've been living, so I took it! <laughs> hey, another chef. Give me your recipe. Ooh, and then the recipe for gratin. Well, I'm a gratin. Talking to you. Ah! There you go. I turned it around. It worked. Oh, look. Little cheap cheeps. They have to go. Oh. 
Goodbye, cheap cheeps. <laughs> Dang, we're not getting any experience here either. Well, let's just ex skip as many battles as we can and we'll just explore. Where is my holy bottle? Where is my holy bottle out? There we go. No, lizard people again. There we go, now we're getting some money experience. Let's see, there shouldn't be that much to explore here. Since we already like opened up everything for earlier. Oh, zombies! Zambambos! Ooh, wow, they do not like that. <laughs> it's weird being at this level to where, like, it's not really, really anything giving me a challenge in this game. Hello, new chests. Your breath doll. Oh, an amethyst ring. Ah, damn it. Alright, help us out. Just nuke him. Gotta nuke something. Let's see. Let's go ahead and do a heal for everyone. Elven boots, nah, not a big deal. And we'll just run away. <laughs> you just had to go and get that extra shot in. It's like, hold up, guys, watch this. It's gonna be really cool. Orb of white mist. Okay. You parasites. No, there's only one left. <laughs> No excuses. Everything must be decimated. Oh yeah, those guys drop like nothing for XP. Ah, darn it. I want Chester to grow levels. But nothing is worth it.
Well, we got a shiny new ring at least. I'm sure it might be for like a pact uh, later on. Well, in the meantime, I guess that's about it for these places. Ooh, hello. Y'all are new. No, they're such baby birds. Cool, cool. Well, okay. Well, those are the two places that were close by that we were able to, like, recheck out. There's definitely something we need to look into in regards to the, um, that ninja cave. So we'll definitely have to go back there. Uh, we need to find out what the amethyst stone is for. So we'll take a look into both of those first, uh, first chance next stream. Uh, let's see. What is the schedule like for the week? Oh, yeah, so tonight we'll be playing Kingsfield 1 uh, from SOP's first game. So if everyone excited for Elden Ring, if you want to see like what they started off with, that'll be a good chance for that. Um, and then we're having a lot of fun this week. We're going to be playing uh, Dragon Ball GT on Game Boy Advance tomorrow afternoon and Mr. Bones for the Sega Saturn tomorrow night. Overblood will be Wednesday. More Tales of Fantasia will be Thursday along with the uh, final boss or the final regular boss to Hollow Knight. So... Uh, we'll be uh, taking a break from that for a bit. And then Friday we are doing uh, Zelda Four Swords Adventures and Panzer Dragoon 2. So we got a nice packed week here. Let us see who we can raid to wish them a good stream. And then I will go and start on my lunch project because I am hungry for lunch. Mr. Bones Wild Ride. <laughs> I am very excited, Toaster. I've only seen like one like cutscene from Mr. Bones. Uh, it looks like a trip, so... It should be a good time. Let's see who we got going on right now. Hmm. No one. No one we regular raid. Oh, I know. Let's take a look for another retro VTuber. Oh, this one's cute. Jezebel Demon. It looks like they are playing Majora's Mask. So, hey. Can't go wrong with a good Zelda there. All right, well, I want to thank everyone for watching here today. Y'all have a good rest of the afternoon, and hopefully I'll see y'all tonight.